Hello everybody, my name is Rolak. Welcome to something a little different. Um, instead of streaming the direct like I've done a few times beforehand and they haven't really been all the best results, uh, I'm just going to make a reco uh, video recording of watching it and see if that will <clears throat> more or less be better. I am alone this time, there's nobody around, at least not any of that I would know of. Um, so yeah, new direct came kind of out of nowhere, uh, yesterday I announced, uh, thankfully in the afternoon and not like eight in the morning or whatever, <clears throat> probably in the morning for, uh, people over on the other side of the world or probably in the middle of the night, roughly 40 minutes of information, main focus on being the switch games, including sword and shield and Luigi's Mansion three. Both of which I had a strong feeling that they would talk about. We may or may not get more... It's like five minutes away, by the way, in case you're wondering. We may or may not get some information about um, Banjo and Smash or some other Smash characters. I have a strong feeling... It might just be me, but <clears throat> I have a strong feeling they might reveal the last two uh, DLC characters for um, Fire to Pack 1. Because the... Unless there's going to be another Smash Direct, which might happen, a lot of people will say might happen around December 7th, around the time when the game actually released. Um, <clears throat> God, my throat's really bad, sorry. Uh, so we might get the last two, because... When was the last Direct? It was way back in... August, I want to say? No, that was only just like last month. That was last month, what am I saying? When... It was just after April. I think it was in May. I can't remember for the life of me. It was sometime after May, and we got both confirmation about Hero and Banjo being in Smash, and Banjo wasn't going to be released until... He might be coming this month. A lot of people are saying that he might be coming this month because of a Japanese 7-Eleven ad or whatever it was, saying that there's something going on the 15th or the 10th. It might be something like that. I'm not too sure. But, yeah, we'll find out sooner enough if we're actually going to be... As well, I'd, I'd still, I think Sakurai would still do a kind of a Smash Direct as he did. Well, more of a presentation is what he did with um, Hero or Joker earlier in the year. He said he would take probably a more casual approach to it in the low, quote unquote, low budget. <clears throat> but other games, uh, they might share some more information about Astral Chain, where that's going to go. See if there's going to be like some bonus DLC or something. Um. What else could there be? Probably some more ports. A lot of people are saying that there might be a uh, Overwatch coming to the Switch, since a official uh, Blizzard and Nintendo issued Switch uh, case with the Overwatch logo was shown off a few weeks ago. I believe it was a few days, weeks, maybe. So yeah, we might get we might get that. Maybe that'd be pretty cool. Uh, what else? Um. Hmm. Probably some more information about Link's Awakening, the HD re-release of that. Uh, we might, and we might now actually, we might, we may or may not get some information about Breath of the Wild too. Maybe a name, an official title, instead of just the sequel to Breath of the Wild. They said that uh, they had started development in the last direct. And that was a few months back, so they might have a bit more to show off if they do. Um, yeah, but what else could there be? What else is coming out later this year? There's not a whole lot. Um, yeah, it's mostly yeah. There's, we're kind of coming up on the end of the year. It's like only three months left or so, I believe. So yeah, there's not a whole lot going on for a lot of game releases. It's for that that I remember. I don't know. There were a few games that they announced earlier, so they may or may not. They could be announcing more games. We could get a new Kirby game. We can get. A, we could maybe get a new Star Fox game. Maybe we'll get an F Zero game. Who knows? Um, it's all just speculation at this point. I try not to get my hopes too up. Uh, and that just makes me satisfied with pretty much everything. Oh, there we go. Repeat M. All right. Yeah. Yep. 
<laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, they took... No, they didn't take any precautions. Just like, here it is. It's coming to Switch. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All right, Isaiah, Overwatch for Switch. It's a thing. Over 100 Game of the Year awards. Good lord, I didn't even it was that much. See, when the, when the Switch was first released, everybody was talking about, like, oh, I hope that Overwatch gets released for it. It'd be perfect for the console or something like that. But, yeah, now it's actually coming up. And it's got gyro controls. So that's going to be interesting. God, that would actually be very interesting. I'm actually... Oh, wait, I'd, I'd actually approve a lot. Because gyro aiming is actually really... It was really good on the 3DS, and I haven't really tried a whole lot on the Switch. So, yeah. Oh, the quality is really not that great. Let's try to get that up there. 10.15? Yeah, it is. Wait, no, it's next month. Okay. So yeah, next month's on the 15th. Nice! Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide <laughs> that was so very sudden. <laughs> I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. They must have been doing this for a okay, They must have been planning this for a while. First batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. They must have been planning this for a while because since it's coming out next month. You got to see these floors of the hotel for yourself. And we're back. Mansion 3 Ooh. takes place in a haunted hotel where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? <laughs> now, so we got the yeah, desert back from Luigi's. Yep, it's apparently just stands. pretty much Luigi's and Mansion's Dark Moon desert As place. The other floors, well, there's a disco <laughs> floor, a pirate themed restaurant. Ooh. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery. It's a a ghost shark? You oh, that is cool. Speaking of amenities, Screen part. step right up to this all-new attraction. Screen oh, Polter Pop, yay. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. What the hell? With only one oh. Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can Holy battle it crap. Out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust g Oh, Zero. come on. Don't be freezing up on it now. And break there we go. Targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion so it's like opens its Mario Party mixed in with Luigi's Mansion. That's pretty cool. Halloween. Get a load of this new Ooh. way to start Kirby game. Ooh. Combine forces of Kirby, oh, it's Kirby, the it's Kirby, the what's it called? Kirby. The one that was on the 3DS. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Yeah. Take up quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. Yeah, this was on the 3DS. This was the free-to-play Kirby game that was on the 3DS. I really liked it, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. Mr. Floaty? So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. Okay, that's awesome. And work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. The issue that I had with the the, the 3DS version is that um, it kind of had you had to have um, people who also had the game and also were near you, so that was kind of an issue. But with this, is that n nightmare? When Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Okay, so nightmares in it. I guess that's pretty cool. Oh, later. To oh, sweet. This long away the hell? Recently released oh, mana. Is getting okay. A remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can 25? look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two <laughs> Those are some interesting faces. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories Never played a mana game. through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. Uh, this sure. interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger... I assume it's just a very standard... Step into More or less the standard um, RPGs thing. Class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike yeah, the, the goat. Version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo. Oh, so it's like oh, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like Chrono Trigger a bit, where you can move around and whatnot. Is that a, what the hell is that thing? Oh my god! 
find out what's in store. Why? Why? Fine, I'll do this crappy quality. Ah, April 24th. Jeez. Yeah, we're getting it. That's a long way away. Is what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? Oh, this thing. Oh. Vanished at sea in 1803. I remember uh, Rabbit Luigi had this on one of his top 10 games of 2018. The fate of the crew remains unknown. It's like some weird mystery game or something like that. India Company. You must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your I really like the art, art style in this. It looks really cool. Only the, the quality was a tad bit better. Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. Exactly what I give you. Explore the ship. Hmm. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? So it's like it's like a big game of Clue almost. Little by it's pretty little, neat. Tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that game looks pretty cool. Fall 2019. I probably won't be too interested into it, but I'll I'll see what yeah. There's a small town. Oh, is that new? Secret. What was it? Town. That was the development name. Little town hero. Never yeah, game freak. Town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster to defend the townspeople. He's not One that big. Named Axe <laughs> stand up to Seems Axe. Him. Okay. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. Right. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything. Ah. There's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Oh. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Oh, that's pretty cool. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new okay, that's a cool weapon. from Game Freak. And Almost all the music Shippu. in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Really? Oh, that's cool. Little Town Hero will make nice. a stand on Nintendo Toby. Switch October 16th. You Probably expect a fantastic soundtrack from that then. That's cool. That's great. Speaking of Game Freak. Oh! Fall is yes! coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> we can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack Ooh. 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazoo. No, no. When is it? Don't repeat on me. And the release date is today. Broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie. What? The game's director Masahiro Sakurai. Oh, you can't do this. Special treat. The video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct. You're watching really? To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie. Please check it out. Oh, it's amazing! But it's coming! Oh, oh! Yes! New character! What do we got? Some people are saying it's... What the hell? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's the Super NES. Is that... Wait, Neo Geo, what? Wait. Oh, is it... Is that... Is it, is it, uh, what's it called? Yes, S SNK, everybody, yes! <laughs> King of Fighters, something like that? Yeah. All right, so who's it gonna be? This is a pretty cool presentation. Uh, definitely not Ryu. <laughs> Other guy, other guy. I don't know anything about these games. I'm sorry if I'm... Is it gonna be this guy? Is it gonna be that guy? No. Is it gonna be, what's her name, Mai? Nobody is getting, who is gonna get this then? <laughs> really like the presentation. This is pretty cool. Is it gonna be, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an accurate representation if you didn't get the invite to Smash. Who's it gonna be? 
It's going to be somebody you have nobody. Oh. And it is. Ah, oh, it's this guy. Cover. Terry faces the fury. Nice. Now in development. No gameplay footage. <laughs> How can you do that? You can't do that. Come on. Fatal Fury, that's it. Nice. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's coming out in November. Pedro's coming out today. I keep <laughs> Pedro's coming out today. That's cool. It's Terry. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. Nice. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? Oh, don't tell me there's going to be more. No, <laughs> my god. The development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers. This Gold game will never die. It's going to keep going. Fighters pass. We can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. This game will go on for 5, 10 years. So, Keep it going. What do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. So what happens when they actually, you know, give the like reveal the actual like gameplay trailer for Terry? They're going to just going to do that whole intro again, then show it off. Which means the next big adventure on Yay. Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. When is this coming out? I for completely forgot when this was coming out. Endearing Islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. I played the Link's Awakening DX, I think it was, on uh that's Kirby. <laughs> on um the three DS. Like the kind of like the virtual console thing, but not really. Um but I never completed it. I kinda got lost. So maybe with this new game, with this like remake, maybe I can go back into it. Because I actually I actually enjoy the game. I I want to get more into Ooh, that was pretty neat. Oh, they're just already there, right? Because I want to get more into top-down Zelda games. Oh, wow, that's this month. Nice. Because I don't think I've ever really played a whole lot of top-down. I've played Link Between Worlds. Oh, hey. Probably going to get copyright and strike for this music, so I'm going to sing over it. Because <laughs> Squeenix are a bit picky with their music. I'm just probably going to turn down the volume on this or replace it with something else. Because, yeah, I could just keep talking. Oh, free DLC, that's neat. I... I've never... Oh, that's neat. That's pretty neat. Can you get, like, different outfits for the other heroes? Like, Erdrick and... What's his face from... Four, I think it was. I don't know anything about Dragon Quest. Never played a Dragon Quest. Maybe I'll get into it with this game. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, it was a free demo. Maybe I'll try it out. <laughs> no, Dragon Quest, it's a big RPG. I'm not wholly into big RPGs. Into smaller things like Pokemon and whatnot. Speaking of... Not yet. Oh! Oh, Tokyo Mirage Assassins! The worlds of the Fire Emblem series nice. and Alice games have crossed paths. And the singing nice a lot. So this was like one of the last games released on the Wii U. The story takes place and in day Tokyo. it was kind of, that, that's kind of what set it in the grave. But since it's re-releasing on the Switch, it's like, this is like the perfect time for it to be released. Because I've heard that this game wasn't all that, it, it was a good game apparently. It was a good game, it was just unfortunately released on the Wii U at the end of its cycle. So really wasn't the best. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Sita, okay. It also shows that it was released just a bit after Awakening because Krom and I think Tharja are like summons or something in the game. Is there a dan- Wait, what is this game anyway? Check out the other new features from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. So is- Hey, is that Tiki? It's not. Tokyo <laughs> Mirage Sessions Sharp so, e Encore releases on January Is this game 17th. like a RPG and like a the game later dancing game combined into one? Like a rhythm game or something? Welcome back the hell? where nothing is what it seems. And Boston, this is Deadly Premonition. It all begins Listen. again. 
when FBI agent oh, Aaliyah so Davis she opens she an investigation it. into an it's old serial killer she case. She also opens a door. That guy's forehead is Unknown. way too big. <laughs> also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years oh. ago. Excuse me? Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between this guy is in the spirit in Smash Brothers, is he? He looks a bit familiar. Oh, what is? But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? What the hell? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing. I've heard of Deadly Premonition. I just don't know anything about the games. Is it like some kind of? Shocker. I was going to be releasing the first game. Oh. Neat. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. Divinity what the? Original oh! Two definitive edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. What is Divinity again? It sounds very familiar. Yes, this game. Me and um, Brayden played <laughs> streamed this a long while ago, but we never really gotten too into it. Apparently, this game was like very, very good. We just weren't good at it. <laughs> It's it's a really interesting game because yeah this honestly this game really interests me because it uses a lot of the environment which is really oh between Steam and that yes that is a good thing that's what I want with like every game that has cross platform things just tra be able to transfer your data from one system to another because that's like that's what I want for like several games like probably more what the hell. For, like, Mortal Kombat and stuff. I want that kind of stuff. Oh, available today. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And now for a message from Bethesda. Oh, Doom. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete hey, Hines Pete Hines. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Is it guy yelling, yeah, HD release? Countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well... This year Wait, is what? the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person Doom, shooter Doom franchises 64? ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Doom 64. Yep. <laughs> For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Never or played this game. Newcomer, I played a uh, Quake 2. That was like my only Doom-ish game back in the N64 days, except from like Turok or something like that. This guy's taking so many hits. <laughs> will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. All right, cool. Any news about Doom Eternal or? All right, whatever. A brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. High Res, oh. Of the world, Rogue Company Rogue is Company. a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. Wait, how, is this a one of these elite specialists? You'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or is match this? up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield so, guns, wait. gadgets, or melee weapons. Your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, is it... skins, in-game events, and more. So it's Warframe. On Nintendo Switch in 2020. It's Warframe. How's it going? It's going good. Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG Ooh, Sword Shield, finally. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Ooh, can we get the we second evolution? information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please yeah. take a look. Can we get second evolutions of starters? I really want to see those. Come on. Pokemon Ooh. Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. Can there be a dark type gym, please? Where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, leave on the wild. New Pokemon. Oh, look at the people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look Ooh. forward to. First, customizing yes. your Yes. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms. Ooh. But a wide variety, including outerwear oh, jackets. and gloves. Okay, that is cool. That, yes. Oh, I love this thing. Plus, you can I, change your hairstyle. Yes. No more of this random. Put on a little makeup. 
Okay, There's this is. I love this. Becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? I love character Second, customization. It's Pokemon awesome. Camp. Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. Oh, so it's like kind of an open Pokemon to me. You can play Aww. Pokemon. <laughs> and as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. <laughs> we definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. All right, that's pretty cool. It gets more into the community part. Ooh. Right. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out okay. and ah. what type it is. Oh, so it's like depends it's like Poffins from um, Platinum use. and Not to mention Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire or just Gen 3 and 4 games. There are more than 100 types. Wow. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. What does what that? Huh? Is that a tape pot? Pokemon doing here? <laughs> what is that? In fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the gallery. Poltergeist. First is Poltergeist. Poltergeist. <laughs> Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware, at hotels, and restaurants. Okay, that's. <laughs> made of tea, complete with Shut up, Acronis. Not now. Flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste Shut up, go away. This ghost type oh, it's got weak armor. That makes sense. Special ability called weak armor. I mean, it's not... Next, another new Pokemon <laughs> What is that? This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. <laughs> it will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. Oh, so it's a pelican. It's another type of pelican. It okay. Surf or dive during battle. Watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. What? If it takes oh, that's damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. Oh, this that's cool. Exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. That's really cool. It's like some kind of alternate counter that's thing. All we have to share with you today. Just do new Pokemon. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch. November Coming out in two months. I think it was around this time we got information about the second evolutions, didn't we? Well, how about that? There are still yeah. two more months until the game releases. I'll probably get more information along the way. Probably another Pokemon Direct. In the Gala region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. Oh. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Uh-huh. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Uh-huh. It's called hey. Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. That's a very long title. <laughs> oh, this is something that I've waited for a long time. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of NES games, but Super NES. Ah, oh, man. Oh, sweet. Smut. Which will be available to play on another system for the first time. Oh. You oh. Or team up in local Poyo Poyo. By passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play hey, Kirby's online. Dream. Dreamland 3, I think it is. Oh, Ghost and Goblins. And the rewind function will be available from launch. Good. That'll make that game a lot more bearable to play, probably. Oh, from launch. That's nice. Here are the oh, first Goblins. games we plan to release. That's a lot of good games. Nice. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Tomorrow. Nice. Sweet! I'm of saying course, nice a lot, but it's, it is. Add more to the lineup. Oh, I can't wait. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. That's awesome. Oh. oh. And they got the controllers. Nice. To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Can we Can we slide it onto the Switch? Like the NES controllers? To charge it, you can use a USB cable. Oh, just that's like lame. The Switch Pro <laughs> oh, it's got a little ZL and ZR buttons. Super NES style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch online members. Yeah, twenty nine nine nine. It's probably gonna be sixty up here. Latest information on its release. Because Joy Cons are like a hundred bucks up here. Nice to play those games again with one of these controllers. Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. More news. This has been super fantastic so far. Tetris 99. <laughs> Can you survive this? 
They released expansions or something like that. Okay, good. Oh, that's... What the hell? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for Oh, they're updating the whole UI. That's pretty cool. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for variety of themes. Sweet. That's awesome. Cool. Tossing in a vast array of new player Oh, achievements. Oh boy. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is Yeah, that's the thing. There's paid DLC for this game, which I think it's a bit weird. Oh, two player mode. That's nice. Get together with friends, Eight player, local multiplayer. Yep. They're making a lot of that in a lot of games. Local arena. Mode. Local arena. Ooh. Can't wait for... That That probably means that tournaments are probably going to be a thing now. Yeah, and you can buy the game. Like, like a physical version of the game. Which is very strange because it's free to play. But you have like DLC to buy. Hey, Tokyo. Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic, this might actually be a game I get. Has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter karate. I like that they're getting different outfits this time. Skateboarding. That's something that they did with um Mario Tennis Aces, I believe, where they had um like tennis outfits. Now they're getting like actual sports outfits here, which I really enjoy. It adds to the. These 10 retro style events. Wait. Oh. one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. Okay, that's pretty cool. All retro and very refreshing to play. Seeing a Bowser sprite just flip around. Unlockable characters and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. 64? Was that the first Olympic Games there? All right, that's that's pretty nice. The next Damon X Ooh. demo will be here sooner than you think. I, I want to get into this game. It looks pretty cool. Week. The free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download. They're making. Yeah, that's the thing. Today. They're. In this prologue, <laughs> you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. They're making the demos more interactive, which I really like. And that's pretty cool as well. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about. This is the perfect time to take one for a test. Trip. I might pick up the demo because this game looks pretty cool. Of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to. It's reminding me a lot of Genlock. That frame rate does not so, look great on those co-op though. <laughs> and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Well, mm, human, if anything. Oh, it's coming out like... Oh, wait, it's not even out yet. It's coming out soon, though. What the... Classic so fun, it's back for more. Wait, what? Kyle Katarn, what? Agent of the New Republic, oh! Only hope Jedi Knight! Jedi. Really? The ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Oh, all right, cool. Keep saying cool, but yeah. Wars. Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch nice. November 24th. That's awesome. We've got nope. new details on some upcoming games. Gonna get a montage. Here's where my journey begins. Witcher 3. Mercenary Monster Slayer. Your current contract. This game does not I mean the quality on this video is not the best, so I can actually keep watching it, but it doesn't look fantastic. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition. Comes I've never even played Nintendo Witcher 3 period, but I might maybe and this. All downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. So it's the full edition. That's 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 all right. Oh. Nope. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Triple collection. To the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. Again, doesn't look too great. <laughs> Which is kind of weird considering this game was released on the Wii U and it didn't look terrible. What is- oh! What's it called? Dauntless, that's what it's called. Yeah. It's like Monster Hunter mixed with, um... Yeah, it's just Monster Hunter. <laughs> As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. So it's a more cartoony version of Monster Hunter. That's... Alright. 
Some of my friends play this. I might get into it, maybe. Open your calendar. Here games comes the montage. <laughs> what do we got? Racing games, farm simulator, great. Fantastic. Just dance. Of course. They're never gonna let this game die. Grid out of sports. By Codemasters. Never heard of those guys. <clears throat> Fire me simulator. 20! What do you mean 20? Have there been 20 farming simulator games? Oh, Nino Kuni! It's the first game. Or the previous game. I don't remember. I don't know if it's been a long running series, but I've heard a lot of good things about that game. Basketball. Ooh, Call of Cthulhu. This game looks interesting. It's Cthulhu Mythos, so that really piques my interest. Oh, wait, no, that's the Sinking City I was thinking of. Or something. Call of Cthulhu, I think, is alright. Devil May Cry 2! Alright. That's coming up pretty soon. Wait, isn't 2 the not that great one? I'm pretty sure it's not that great. Is it 2? No, I think it's 2 that's not the great one. And Vampire isn't that great as well, I've heard. How's everything going? Next up... Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hey, more information about that. We revealed that. many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Yay. Not wholly into Animal Crossing, but it's nice to see that it gets some more information. Yeah, package. You know, putting you into endless debt on a deserted island. <laughs> His hands aren't even touching. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature So it's just Animal Crossing on, like, an island? For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time... Because it seems like it's very just standard Animal Crossing stuff. Deserted Island Life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Why does this voice this voice sound so select the spot where ominous like for up. some reason? Oh, and there's something else. I don't think it's a good, it's not a good idea to set up a tent right next to a beach. Like right on the beach. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs. That's going to cost you 20,000 bells. For crafting tools and furniture. They say it's a rental, Let's but they're going to give you a they're going to give you a bill apps. sooner enough. We're going to need some materials. Like branches. It's a pretty flimsy tree. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Flimsy axe. Nicely done. That is a toolkit. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside. I've got really nothing to say about Animal Crossing. I never really found it too interesting. You can fine -tune the not really, not really a huge uh, fan of this kind of gameplay stuff. It's like town building thing. Like there's other games that would probably interest me in like town building stuff, but this one. Eh. Here we sell tools and furniture. Also, it's based on like real time, which is. Items, including eh. you remove, I feel like I'll just grow bored of it and just lose interest in really fast. To usual in-game currency bells. You can also earn Nook miles through the Nook mileage program. Oh God, of course, because a mileage club. Use your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys <laughs> deserted of life deserted island life. Thriving for food and being very desperate <laughs> and worried that nobody will come and save you. Tend to flowers and pick them to make a garland. Ah, oh, that's cute. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Oh, that's neat. Ah, oh, it's cute. A vaulting pole makes it it's easy got, to quickly cross a river. Animal Crossing certainly has a lot of charm. 
A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. That's mm, that's not how. Plant okay. Else just just, just wait. Hang on. No. That, hang on. <laughs> that's not okay. Whatever. <laughs> The scenery changes with the time and weather. It's not how trees work, but okay. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Pond smelt, but that's not a... Okay, whatever. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on Has one Has this ever system. been a feature beforehand? I, hope you enjoy living together. I assume not, because the only really portable Animal space. Crossing game was on the 3DS with, with New Leaf. Wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island. And I don't think they got... I don't think New Leaf even got any new, like, any, like, visit. multiplayer thing. This, this might be the first game to actually get that. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? Well, yeah, they got the Smash Brother reps in there. Can you go swimming? No. Nope. Okay. Like <laughs> Lonely, desperate, and I want to leave. <laughs> just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more. How are we so sure that Tom Nook hasn't trapped you on this island? How do we know he didn't kidnap you and now and somehow gave you amnesia? What if this is all scam? Deviate scam to probably kill people or something. I don't know. So, how did it look? It's all right. There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. All right, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Metroid, maybe? What kind of game? What game are we talking? Zelda? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, it's Zelda. No, wait, no, it's Xenoblade! Xenoblade! The first Xenoblade game's coming out! Nice! Awesome! Great! Oh my god. I recognize this music because this is on a uh, wallpaper I have from the wallpaper engine. Oh, is it an HD remake? Are they, like, is it a port of the HD from the... No, it's out. It's a... Oh, it's do you a, wish to change it? Huh? The future. <laughs> definitive edition. Oh. What's definitive about it? Oh, that's awesome. I've always wanted to play this game, but I just haven't. I, I, it's impossible to find the 3D version. It takes way too much space to download on my 3DS. And now they got it. It's coming out next year sometime. Yes. Oh, I can't wait for that. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Yes. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Oh, it will begin shortly. Is it going to be getting right after? Because I'm going to keep keep this going if that's the case. All right, cool. That was an awesome direct. So much good stuff coming out. All right. Sweet. That's awesome. That was a great direct. Are we going straight into it? I think we're, go we're going straight into it. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. I'm getting very sweaty. My air conditioner is off and it's very hot in here. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. Nah, come on. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. <laughs> now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. <laughs> Were you, was he actually playing like that? Using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. What? 
Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, <laughs> like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. You can't just get another guy to come and help out? I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie. Two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. You can't. So, <laughs> what is Banjo Kazooie? How dare you ask well, that question? In terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. It, just, it turned 20 Banjo last year. First appearance a year earlier in a game yeah, that's the thing, he appeared a couple years earlier. After that, Kazooie didn't Banjo appear then. Was released. And then Banjo Tooie. You're gonna mention Nuts and Bolts? Were then released for game Boy Advance, hey, you mentioned Grunty's Revenge! Japan. And, and then there's, Banjo there's Nuts, and Bolts. Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that, though. <laughs> and Nuts and Bolts is a fine know, game. It just shouldn't, Banjo shouldn't have been a Banjo Kazooie game. Now belongs to Microsoft. Uh -huh. This is just a little brief history, I guess. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Brothers series. You say they're rivals, but they've been pretty buddy buddy recently. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. I know this is a <laughs> broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> He's a sellout. He's betraying Nintendo. Let's talk about the music. The Banjo Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle. So we put a lot of effort yes. into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Oh, I can't wait. Up here. Yes, here. <laughs> You'll see the track. <laughs> Okay. I'm glad to see that Sakurai's having fun with this. It's great. Alright, what do we got? It's part of Challenger Pack 3. Banjo Kazooie going to battle. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, this is the main thing. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. <laughs> We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the oh. production version. <laughs> We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie yes. used in their original game. On the Jinjo's example, flying around. The talent trot here is used for the Yeah! <laughs> and their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. He looks agile, that's nice. Dun, 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 dun. Their new is called Claw Swipes. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we've built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. So we can actually be a decent move this time. Their flurry attack is a rat attack rat. Ooh! Their dash attack is a forward roll. Oh, yes! This is something Donkey Kong yes. uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Had a feeling it'd be that. Nice. Their down tilt is beak barge. Beak barge. What's the up tilt, though? Their up smash. Bill drill! Nice. It looks a bit different from their original games. It's not the ground pound, but yeah. The fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. What does Harry said mean? a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In it English, Beagle it's called Beagle Bash. Bash. What does Harrison mean then? Is the type of bird Kazui is. So this basically means bird bash. Which is pretty accurate. <laughs> Uh, what's a down smash? Their neutral air is oh. oh, it's Kazooie's move from Tui. Nice. Their back air is an air rat attack rat, which hits three times. Their down air is beak yes, Buster, beak Buster. which they use to down stab as they drop. Does that have a meteor effect? Oh, this is like everything I've expected. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original games. <laughs> the down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. Hmm. Now I'd like to go yeah, over the special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. And you hold it down it's and you can pretty much their go to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll get a blaster, nice. Here. 
Brigo Blaster. Oh wait, can you like? Oh. Brigo Blaster oh. is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but that's pretty do, cool. The power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. That's, that's Next, awesome. Their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. So how do they replenish it though? Is it just every life or? It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, oh, okay. Attack again until you lose a stock. So you gotta use them. Okay. Uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated. You'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. That's interesting. That's a cool mechanic. Use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. Oh, we can go through counterattacks. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open. Ah, okay. In addition, you can be oh. <laughs> this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. And go through projectiles, that's awesome. Alright. Next is their up special, Shock Nice. Uh, I love this music. The shock spring pad from their original game. So is it like? There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your. Oh, it, okay, it deals damage. I thought so. It can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. It's what? It's throwable? It's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward, in that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. Wait. So if you're falling, you can use it like this. Was that a triple jump? And then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Or was that... It might have just been the animation, but I think I saw a triple jump. By the way, the height of a hey. shot spring jump will change depending on how oh, long... Oh, yeah. Like how it was in the... Yeah. Okay. Just how it was in the game. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his back. Yep. Grenade egg. <laughs> it's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. <laughs> and they can also grab it, I assume. Because Diddy Kong was able to grab it in the... <laughs> its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. Uh -huh. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. So it's more or less like a uh, Toon Link bomb, if anything. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. Mm. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure... I'm expecting to see some uh, two-player shenanigans with this in uh, team fights. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Oh, that's going to be a great edgeguarder as well. Lastly, their final smash is Gen Genator. The Mighty Gen Genator <laughs> just brings out the whole statue. The final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. Sprout Mountain, yay! <laughs> this stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the West it's called Spiral Mountain. I can't believe he's playing with two controllers. As you can see, it's it's ridiculous. Where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. I assume the spiral shape can't be interacted with. Oh, can! That's neat. And the stage oh, so the oh, okay. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. Oh, so it oh. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning so, the recovery points will also change. Oh. That's pretty cool. I like that. Platforms like this will Probably won't be, you know, tournament legal, but a yeah. Bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. Oh, I love this track. Music's done by Grant Kirkup as well, and it's. Oh. 
Are you going to fight yourself or are you actually going to get somebody to help you out with that? <laughs> because it's kind of ridiculous that he's just doing this by himself. Time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters. Okay, two CP. Okay, okay. <laughs> Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually... Oh, it's a, oh it does the, the zoom in! Oh, it's nice! I love that. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad. So his forward aerial looks like to be... Oh, it's a wing back down for his down smash. Forward aerial seems to be a Mario. Um, forward aerial. Might spike. That's pretty cool. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. They look really fun. I can't wait to play them. I mean, they're coming out later today! Oh, I can't believe that they're actually coming out today. That's amazing. pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. He's talking strategy was just... Oh, and the bridge extends for... Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh man, I really love this stage too. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. Please let there be at least ten songs to this. Because I would really be kind of disappointed if there were only four songs. There has to be more songs. Yeah, he's like he's like me when I'm trying to <laughs> when I'm trying to just speak random crap to alleviate the silence. <laughs> Does it yell Jinjo? Nah, it doesn't. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. And final smash. Kind of wish it would have the the very deep, like, Jinjo. I forced them out, Please so let I it be win. the get jiggy noise. Yes! Ah, everything is perfect about him! <laughs> Cameos, yay! Mumbo, bottles, and... I'd also like to talk about some Treasure trophy! Yes! Liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul a lot of people, was underground by a boulder. A lot of people were saying that... Anyway, um, they were hoping that Gruntilda would, like, spout, um, spout, like, insults to other fighters. Kind of like how Palutena and Pit do their thing on their stage. Well, don't spoil it. I haven't Let's Played that yet. God, seeing all this just makes me want an HD release of the games. This poor soul had all of his mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He keeps, he keeps on the poor souls. <laughs> in many ways throughout the game. Also, were they really stolen? They were kind of just lying around everywhere. And we have Tootie. And Tootie. Can you spot her? Kind of shoved away like she was after the first game. <laughs> That's... That is so hilarious that it's 100% accurate on that. You can see all the detail. Even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. <laughs> She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. That's hilarious. They made 2D so... <laughs> because 2D has... This is the thing. 2D was so important in the first game, she has no relevance outside of the first game. She's never mentioned in Grunty's Revenge, 2E. I don't even think she's in Banjo Pilot. And I think there's like very small references to her in Nuts and Bolts. Maybe she's not going home? They're putting a lot of emphasis on her. We saw some of these a short while ago when the Mighty Ginginator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. Everybody's just a sad soul. Those are the buzz bombs. These are basic enemy characters called buzz bombs. But since they can float I mean, around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You call them, you call them basic, but there's like two instances of where they pop up. <laughs> we put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Can't wait for Boundary Break to take a gander at list. How many songs? Please be a lot. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country-style music and adapting it for use in battle. 
were including a total of 10 music tracks. Ah, oh, just 10. Okay, that's good enough. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Oh, and three originals? I've always thought that getting all this for five ninety nine is a fantastic deal. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. And they're conducted by Grant. The music oh. for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. Yes. He created the original banjo <clears throat> series music. Did you do the rest of the songs, or I assume you had to? I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of the Oh, jazz. really? Oh yeah, that is true. I was a bit worried about huh. whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. Of course he did. Can you expect anything less? A list of tracks this time. Freeze Easy Peak, Mr. Patch, Lord with Fact Fact, nice. Mad Master Mansion, yes! To match the action taking place on screen. <clears throat> no final battle music from the first game though, that's, oh, that's kind of disappointing. Ooh, what are we going to get in the update? Anything... Alongside the launch of anything Suzuki, new? There will also be a software update. What do we got? We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh-huh. <laughs> and to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will oh. pretty much be our final new mode. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? To go ahead and play, so please take a look. What do we got? 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 And here it is. Home run contest! Yay! Damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And, and the bat, bat pops in the last second. Okay, I like that. But this bat. Oh my god! <laughs> Maybe a little too high. What is that in the background there? And so. Well, what was no? What was was that Final Destination? Jesus. Ways compared to previous home run contests. 302 kilometers. This time, Sandbag has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. That's not far at all. <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Can you play a player with this? Oh my god, he's doing... Stop playing by yourself, dude. You get somebody to help you out. <laughs> You've got you've got staff members. Time to strike. Here we go. No. What? This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. <laughs> Ooh, more Mii Fighter move customization. Ooh! Content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. We're gonna get more moves for the Mii Fighters? Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. Or is it just... Oh, okay. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the... Oh, so you can customize characters that you have downloaded. Okay. However... This will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update. Well, that's going to be kind of annoying. Mii Fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Does that mean we have to recreate all the Mii Fighters? Please enjoy many different varieties. Because I have like, I want to say 30 Mii Fighters and I don't want to recreate all of them. All right, what do we got? There's Banjo-Kazooie ones. I will buy them because there's no way I cannot buy them. What do we got? Come on. Ben on a mumbo costume for sword fighter. What? What the? Are these mystical ninjas starring Goemon? What? Eh? Okay. Mega Man. What do we got? Zero costume. Uh, Proto Man. Yeah. That's that's cool. Time to make more me fighters, I guess. That's awesome. Is that it? Mega Man X? You got Zero? There he is. Hey, Zero's a finally playable character, guys. No man, the quality's taking a dip here. Let's... Pokemon! Pokemon? Wait, what? Oh, that's nice! Oh, T-Rocket. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, you're not supposed to throw a brick at <laughs> Mewtwo. Why are you kidding me? Oh my god! 
<laughs> they fucking did it. <laughs> Sans is in Smash. Holy shit. Oh my god. The memes are dead. They're done. <laughs> oh my god. It comes with Megalovania. How can you not? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's hilarious. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, <laughs> who was a popular request. And this oh Sans outfit my god. also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so, you so can we can use it in there. other stages. Okay. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself. Oh Toby Fox. my god. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Brothers really? together. Really? <laughs> he was actually really good. <laughs> of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. <laughs> when we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Oh my god. Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon ooh, be available. Ooh, Banjo, Banjo amiibo. Where is it? Oh, Squirtle. Squirtle. Ah, oh, look at him. Cute little bugger. Ivysaur. <laughs> Where do you... Where are you keeping these? And Snake. Oh, is that all for now? He was hiding. <laughs> <laughs> they will each be available on September 20th. What about the Banjo Amiibo? The software update what about the Joker Hero Amiibo? DLC will be available today. Uh, yeah, okay. Is that... Is that it? Are we... Are we done? We're done? Okay! Oh! What do we got? Terry Bogart joins back? Yeah? Do we have... Okay. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. He's gonna show it up now. Up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? It was really fun. I really like what they did with that. <laughs> I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Ooh! Ooh! Sweet! What do we got? Oh, he looks good! Oh, it's a, oh this stage looks awesome. Cool. Oh, this side special. Oh, that's the side special. Okay, that's cool. Finally. Oh. It was announced that we will be working on even more <laughs> DLC fighters. Who else? It feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. Who else? Are there gonna be five more? How much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. There's going to be 80 characters by the end of this game. And ultimately, Holy that means that there will be an even greater opportunity. We might get a hundred playable characters in this game if it keeps going on like this. I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. So this very well might be the last so game in the I series. I to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Mr. Sakurai. Oh, man. Holy crap. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, there were so much good things in this direct. They've been really good with the directs lately. Like, holy crap. Oh my god. Banjo's out, like, today. He's gonna be out today. I'm gonna be able to play him today. Oh my god. Fucking Sans is in Smash. The absolute madman. Oh my god. Alright, so, this has been a fantastic... Unbelievably fantastic uh, direct. I love it. Kind of wish they would show a bit more Pokemon in the direct, but they added a few more features in there. 
Oh my god. I can't I can't wait for it. Oh my god. I should probably try it now, if anything. So yeah, didn't, we didn't have any information about Metroid. Kind of was expecting that because they did say that they restarted development with the um, original team. So that's probably going to be in development for a bit longer. Xenoblade Chronicles. I can actually play that game now. Oh my god. Everything is so good now. <laughs> uh, Alright. I'm going to end the video here because it's been going on for an, like an hour and ten minutes. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be Taking a bit more of a break. I uh, probably won't be getting anything up until October. Yeah, October. Because I'm going to be doing a scary game for that month, obviously. I'm going to be trying to do a longer uh, scary game. Aside from Slender. I might actually get a lost episode back into Slender. So, yeah. Alright. Thank you all for watching. My name is Rorlock. See you guys next time.